Hello everybody, welcome back and I'm smiling because I'm getting to chat to you today about Night Boat to Tangier by Kevin Barry which is magnificent and I adore it. It is long listed for this year's Booker Prize and I think the shortlist and the final announcement have been suspended because of Covid but I am so pleased this book has been put on the long list and I can only hope it gets on the shortlist because it absolutely deserves it and in fact um, the New York Times had it down as one of their 10 best books of 2019 and it richly deserves that title and it is so exciting and joyous for me to be able to share a book that I absolutely love that perhaps might have passed you by. So Night Boat to Tangier, what is it about? It's a short little book, as you can see, and its prose is controversially quite sparse, as you can see. It is really a duologue, a dialogue between two aging gangsters, Maurice and Charlie. They are two aging Irish gangsters and they're sitting on the port of southern, the, the port in southern Spain, Algeciras and they're waiting for the night boat to Morocco. And it's set over a 24 hour period as they're waiting for this boat to come in. But it turns out they're not, there's some, it's not actually the boat they're waiting for. There is a young woman on the boat that has been lost to them for a long period of time and they want to find her. So they're waiting between the two boats to Morocco from one boat and then the next boat 24 hours later to see whether she is on that boat. And they pass their time sparring a little witty gallows humour that also becomes reminiscent of their past. These are men with lives who've had lives of real violence and the scars run deep and Kevin accentuates this ongoing dialogue over 24 hours with flashbacks to events from their past. Um, in vicious crimes and um, so much blood let and you wonder what for. Um, so that is really the that's really the setup of this book but this book is so much cleverer than that because Kevin has injected a bit of the Beckett in here. We are dealing with two Irish gangsters who feel like they're out of time. It is set at the port, like I said, this port of Algeciras and there's a there's a shadow of the ferryman to the other side, of death, of um, getting that boat uh, to cross the the you know the water of the underworld in that and the uh, reason why I've got my glasses I'm going to I'm going to do some reading for you isn't that exciting and I love this the ferry terminal has a haunted air a sinister feeling it reeks of tired bodies and dread so we have the sense that these are two men who are going to have to atone and reckon for the crimes they commit there's a sense of finality here uh, that Kevin had sort of weaves in gently but yet this book is full of gallows humor Maurice and Charlie are witty they've got a great sense of humor uh, they're cruel they're vicious but they are funny there's a repartee that you can't help but warm to and so you have these two men who've committed such terrible crimes and yet you root for them you find yourself trying to understand and sympathize and empathize with the situation that they're in um, I like I said, I, I, I absolutely love this prose, but it is very sparse and it is a series of dialogues. For example, uh, just to give you an idea of actually what the dialogue is, it basically reads like this. I'd nearly have remembered Maurice. We used to make love all night, Charles. You were younger then. And you know what she'd do for me in the mornings? I'm all ears. She'd feed me sparrows, Charlie. And that basically is a third of the page. It is Maurice and Charlie going back and forth, back and forth. But these are two men out of time. Um, some people haven't liked the sparse prose. They feel it's quite theatrical, like you're reading uh, a play. And I, oh, I find that criticism just so out of place because Kevin Barry has packed a real punch into the prose that he delivers. Let me read you this line, which is one of the best lines I've, I've read in a book recently. I adored this. Charlie Redmond was drinking alone, but for his demons at a crowded table down the back. Boom! I wish all sparse prose could be that powerful. These men are haunted. They are haunted by their demons. And this is a really beautiful book by Karen that has a sense of an open ending. It's, it's beautifully executed. And I really hope that you all read this. It isn't agonizing, it isn't violent to read. You're not going to have uh, um, really harrowing passages to read. That isn't about that. You're, you're basically reading the men. You're reading their scars and a sense that these men belong to a, an era that 
you know, these two bully boys, they don't belong to the modern era. Um, they're two men out of time. And it's just they're left with their crimes and their sorrows and the repercussions of all that they've done as they sit there on their port waiting for the ferryman. Oh, beautiful. Nightboat to Tangier by Kevin Barry.